throughout the past couple months, Soph has been going through TikTok as she normally does, uh, being a TikTok addict. And anytime she comes across something related to fish, she saves it. And now we've compiled all of them so that I can go through them and review them. I don't know how good or how bad they'll be, but we'll see. Protrusible mouth. Sucking in the gravel, <laughs> but not the food. <laughs> I think it's funny, every one of those like videos we watch that are like most dangerous fish, they talk about how these fish use their mouths to suck prey in like a vacuum and it's supposed to be this like scary talking point of fish. And this is just like a decorative goldfish doing it. <laughs> so I just finished doing a salt bath on some of my baby goldfish here. Every once in a while, I like to do a methylene blue salt bath just as a preventative measure for external fungal and bacterial infections, especially sometimes when I start noticing some pimples like popping up on their heads. Uh, this can happen to the ones that have big fleshy growths like this guy. Mm. Uh, doing salt baths or methylene blue salt baths is mm -hmm. by no means necessary for goldfish. You can keep your goldfish for years just fine. Okay. Some things to talk about here. Doing salt baths isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, parasites and funguses and things like that tend to be very specialized. Things that infect other things tend to be very specialized in what they infect because it makes them more effective. You know, rather than having a parasite that can infect like, I don't know, a thousand different animals, they usually focus on one or two specific species. Uh, so most parasites and funguses in freshwater won't be able to tolerate much salt and so the salt would kill them however he said it was like when his goldfish are getting pimples which i assume he means lymphocystis which is just a result of inbreeding because goldfish especially decorative goldfish are heavily inbred uh, and so heavily genetically fucked up so bathing them in salt is not going to do anything about that um it'll help prevent fungal infections but isn't it not good to touch a goldfish with your bare hands because it's salt from our hands uh, the main reason that you don't want to touch fish is because they have a mucus outer layer that pr uh, protects them from diseases and you can rub that off with your hands but he's being very gentle like pick up put down so i don't think there's any particular issue with the way that he's uh he's grabbing the fish okay <laughs> it's not making that noise that is not coming from that shark it's, no that is a different animal. That is a farm animal. Why would sharks be able to make that? There's no shot. I refuse to believe that this is a Wookiee shark. I like the caption. Blunt nose six gills to believe to exist before the dinosaurs. Who's going to tell them that like all sharks existed before the dinosaurs? It's not, it's not a specific trait of the blunt nose six gill. Ooh, tiger shark yeah, eating whale meat. Rolling back in its head. It's yeah, like, they do. That's a really good shot. In my first, I think my first ever reaction video, I talked about how dead whales are just floating buffets, and a bunch of people found that funny. So if you doubted me, this is what I meant. Floating buffet for a tiger shark. Seven reasons the ocean sunfish is the worst fish ever created. Number one, okay. they're the largest fish in the ocean, and yet they have almost no ability to move on their own in said ocean. Number two, that's not true. They're actually not that bad at swimming. They look like they'd be bad at swimming, but they're not that bad at swimming. You are just making an assumption based on the placement of their fins and how dumb their locomotion looks, but they are actually not that bad at swimming in comparison to seahorses. Two, they have no swim bladder, something pretty much every fish needs in order for it to not sink, and considering this. Okay, no sharks have swim bladders, and then there's multiple teleos that don't have swim bladders. So that's not true. You don't need a swim bladder. Fish can barely even swim. It definitely needs a swim bladder, and yet it doesn't have one. Oftentimes, they just get stuck at the surface of the ocean because- They do that on purpose so that birds can land on them and pick off the parasites. It's a symbiotic relationship. It's one of the coolest things about sunfish. Again, they can barely move on their own. They don't have a swim bladder and they don't even have movable fins. Before, they can never close their mouth because for some reason they were evolved in- Well, apparently you can't close your mouth either because you won't shut up about sunfish. Sunfish are their awesome. Teeth are fused together so their mouth is perpetually open and they look like this. Number five, they're so useless- That's true of like whale sharks and other shit too though. Not even other animals will eat them. They'll just maim them for fun and then spit them out because they're riddled with parasites and diseases. 
The fact that they're inedible is an evolutionary advantage. Being not tasty to other things is an advantage. Why do you think poison evolved in animals? Because something bites you and it's like, holy fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna bite that thing anymore. They learn their lesson. Six, they actually produce a fin that would help them move, but instead of growing outwards, it grows inwards. So they have all the cells, they're just not doing the right thing. That's called a vestigial organ. You have it too. You have a fucking, I don't even, what is that thing called? What's the, what's the thing that humans have, that, the organ that serves no purpose, that ruptures sometimes and it kills people? Pancreas? Is it a pancreas? Pancreas feels important. Appendix. Appendix. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make fun of them having an internal fin when you have an organ in your body which serves no purpose and could literally blow up and kill you at any moment. You don't get to speak. Boy. And scientists have no clue why they exist. They pretty much have no purpose. They don't serve what? as food. They don't serve as a home for any other creatures. They're just a floating cesspool. What do you mean science has no clue why they exist? Nothing exists for any reason. The entire point of evolution is that it's completely random. Things just happen. Things just survive because they can. There's no purpose. There's no reason for something to exist. There's no reason for you to exist. You just happen to be the one in a billion sperm that won the race to the egg. I hate that guy. I hope you don't put, give me more TikToks. Anyone else ever just uh, take their pet catfish out for a walk when it floods? Uh... <laughs> no, but that's kind of uh, sick. Take their pet I have to imagine that water is not very well oxygenated, so probably don't leave your fish there for long, and it'd probably be a little stressful, but it, it would be kind of sick to walk, walk your fish, yeah. Ну что, достаем? Так, сейчас проверим. Приблизь. Сколько там у нас малючечков? Ой, 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 Много мальков вырывается. It's called mouth breeding, dummy. They just have the fish in their mouths. Все, наверное, был после. Ой, нет, еще он. Не хочет, не хочет. Doubt she's eating them. I'm pretty sure it's just a mouth brooding fish. You don't need to rescue the fish. They're safer in the mouth. That's the whole point. Oh. Rip that crab. Oh, never mind. The crab wins. Rip the puffer fish. <laughs> God damn it. That crab is fucked, but he will put up a fight. <laughs> this is crusty versus everybody. Damn, he never even got him. All right, fair enough to that crab. The crab said, I'm fighting back today. Oh, God. This is the video I was talking about the other day. I think I, I when I did my ichthyology lecture, I talked about how chlorine is toxic in like any tiny amount to fish and how taking a pool and turning it into an aquarium is just a terrible idea because it's impossible to remove all of the trace amounts of chlorine. All right, guys, the pool is filling up now, and honestly, I'm just super excited for this whole thing to come to life. Those are so beautiful. The fact that they did salt water, too, is crazy, because salt water is so, like, unsustainable, and the fact that you're going to have to, oh my god, balance the salt and everything. Keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Huh? That's crazy. All these fish died, right? Like, there's no shot that the, none, any of these fish lived. Oh, look at that. We got sharks in our pool, guys. No so way. Sick. And they went swimming with them. Yeah, those fish all fucking died. I don't know if they've ever posted an update, but I'm almost assuredly they all died. Whoa. What the hell is you doing? Oh my God. We ain't never did that before. Why you thought today was the, the day to do that? <laughs> okay, nice. I like it, the Lamarckian evolution. I feel the need to mention that if they didn't just randomly decide to go on land, it was a very long and tedious process getting there, but still funny. Okay, Kuril Lake in India. How would you get a ground view? Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, rip that salmon. That's pretty sick. Holy shit, salmon migration. Proof megalodon. megalodon sharks still exist. Sharks still exist. Bring the 
initial investigation, the agent who was studying the swarm uh, noticed something out in the water. <laughs> what is okay. this enhanced thing? No camera can enhance this much. This is when they do it like in the movies and there's like a really blurry camera feed of somebody walking by and the fucking like cop is like enhance and the dude on the computer just presses a bunch of buttons and it suddenly uh, like raises the resolution. Yeah, well, it, yeah, at this resolution, it's a spec. When they zoomed in, though, they got... Oh, the oh, you can zoom in even further. Enhance. This. It's a little fuzzy, but I'd say that's a shark. And not just any shark. If you look at this other satellite photo I brought, it was taken at the same resolution of a school bus yard in nearby Sao Paulo. Now, those are 40-foot buses, and when you compare them next to the first photo, I'd say that's a 70-foot shark. Wow. Almost like it's photoshopped. Almost like you can't enhance that. It's the same shark you made a photoshop. Oh yeah, I did. I literally did a stream where I took the that image of a shark from Google and then made a photoshop with it. So, <laughs> whoa. Yes, beluga surgeon. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I know TikTok doesn't care, but Jesus, that is a big fucking sturgeon. Did they catch this sturgeon? Damn. Big boy. Big boy. They get even bigger than that, though. Beluga sturgeon are like the lar- I think they're the largest freshwater. They're not the large because there's- they're not purely freshwater, but sturgeon get fucking huge. Like, 24 feet. I don't even think this actually is that accurate, but yeah, beluga sturgeon get absolutely massive. Okay, Viola update. So how's our girl? Well, I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is she's still filling up with fluid. In fact, she was full of more fluid today than I've ever seen her before, and I released more fluid than I've ever released. Why is he making fish piss? Uh, fish sometimes, if there's some kind of malformity, which uh, happens very often with aquarium inbred fish, um, they fill up with fluid. So fluid gets in their body cavity or, you know, overfilled swim bladder or whatever. And you can either poke a hole or just, you know, out the back end, squeeze out all the, the fluids. Of course, it doesn't solve the problem. It's just like a temp. It's like a band-aid, basically. I mean, they're still going to have the issue of the fluid getting in for one reason or another, but it's like a temporary solution to stop them from dying while you figure out how to actually treat them. Poke a hole, question mark? Yes, poke a hole. Sometimes that's the necessary thing for swim bladders. You can use a... a needle to take out air from the swim bladder if there's like a singular event that caused excess air in the swim bladder you can remove it directly because non physoclistus fish aren't able to do that on their own you guys some more videos of some everglades snorkeling that i did so the first thing we found were these why cool would you snap. ever go snorkeling in the everglades isn't that like crocodile territory dollars right here which i thought was interesting because sand dollars are usually salt water so i don't know if these sand dollars are just really old or they got trucked in from somewhere else after we found this underground tunnel right here that had all this water being sucked through it it was creating a power pretty powerful current why would you it ever go like in that water slide so i went in and i held my breath wasn't really you sure were holding you algae. didn't have a tank is it or not i do you sometimes see alligators and this type of stuff, but I... You went in an underground tunnel, an underwater tunnel, while holding your breath, not knowing what's on the other end, and there's a flow against you. What if you had to turn around? What if you had to turn around? I went through and I got out on the other side, and there I encountered these Florida gar right here. And then after these regular Florida gar, I encountered this... Okay, there's no fucking... There's no fucking... This guy's fucking insane. There's no fucking way. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the sound. Yeah, the shrimp cleans. <laughs> just the fucking the overly loud Spanish is funny. How did he get underwater? He zoomed in on a mountain. Why such ominous music for that? That's a funny photo. I would put that as my phone background if I had taken that video. <laughs> no bitches? Maidenless? All right, that is it.